So I was just uh, reading, I think on the Hollywood Reporter, about the Archwell Foundation, Harry and Megan's Archwell Foundation, and how they have been working with those young girls in Nigeria. I think it was, was last year, but I wasn't really, you know, making the videos very often when it happened. So I was just kind of like just going through some of their projects and I thought, oh, that's so impressive how they have partnered with David Oyaloa, the Gianco Foundation. And through the Artful Foundation's involvement, this initiative with David Oyaloa, well, it has gained, you know, increased visibility for this, for his, for David's uh, foundation. And together they, um, you know, help to empower young girls to pursue their education without interruption, you know. So through the Archwell Foundation's involvement, the initiative gains increased visibility and resources and so there's like a broader impact on the ground as a, as a consequence of Archwell's involvement with the Gianco Foundation and so basically according to the Hollywood Reporter you know it's basically all about supporting menstrual health education in young girls and in about 2,500 girls in the region and so the Archwell Foundation's involvement is a testament to, um, you know, empowerment of girls, you know, and Harry Megan's work uh, helped to address the stigma and lack of awareness surrounding menstruation for young girls. You know, such a basic, simple, normal biological process can be so disruptive, you know, in the lives of so many young girls. So it's really a, a very important thing that that they're doing and you know because like the initiative it promotes physical well-being and it also contributes to sort of destigmatizing you know menstruation pretty much so i think it's pretty cool and i thought i would just like you know mention it because it's kind of quietly just you know there and people don't really you know think about it or talk about it very much by the way megan is part nigerian as we know so you know there's that and it, you know this collaboration with her and gianco and harry as well underscores um her personal connection to nigeria and her ancestry her nigerian ancestry and so that sort of adds, I think, a deeper level of significance to her involvement with this initiative, her and Harry, of course. And yeah, it's all about uplifting Nigerian communities, you know, uplifting all people, because I think she did something similar in India too, you know. So it's like uplifting all people, uplifting women. It's just the positivity of their brand and their work with the Archwell Foundation and sort of everything else that they do. And, you know, this partnership with the Gianco Foundation sort of exemplifies um, a, a holistic approach to empowering girls in Nigeria. This is all according to the Hollywood Reporter, okay? And it addresses, um, you know, it addresses both um the immediate needs and the systemic barriers to education and well-being according to the Hollywood reporter article that i read so through the, these targeted interventions that the these two foundations working together and sustained support the initiative strives to create a brighter future for nigerian girls i just think it's just so wonderful that you know the duchess and her husband are involved in this you know, helping girls to to thrive and to to sort of reach their own their full potential, and and own you know themselves as women and as as girls you know soon to be young women productive members of their society you know with all this inter without all this interruption from you know something as simple as menstruation for heaven's sakes you know I mean a delicate topic but still. So very important to normalize it and to, you know, take away all the stigma and the difficulties and, you know, 
yeah, so the Archwell Foundation's resources have really been making a difference. And what they did was they donated like backpacks filled with school supplies and menstrual products and, you know, to help directly address these practical needs. So I think it's just great, you know.